Welcome to the Texture Overview Tutorial for KeyShot 4. KeyShot makes it very easy to simulate detailed 3D effects by mapping 2D images as textures onto your models. KeyShot 4 comes preloaded with a variety of textured materials such as mold tech, wood, and metals. These can be drag and dropped onto your parts just like any other material. If we open up our material properties, we can see the currently applied texture maps. We'll remove these for now and add our own custom textures to the scene, which I have already imported to the textures library. Let's start with the ground. Drag a texture into the real-time window and hover over a part to see a preview. Release the mouse to preview the available texture types for that material. Select color and do the same for bump. Making sure sync is enabled since we are using the same swatch for both. Showing the coordinate legend helps identify that this map should be projected along the Y axis. So we'll change the type to planar Y and adjust the scale. The texture I am using here is tileable, so when repeat is enabled there are no visible seams. Next, we'll apply a wood texture to the bat with the cylindrical mapping type. Open the mapping tool to interactively adjust the position. The wireframe cylinder should be oriented in the same direction as the part. Uncheck repeat to help determine proper scale. The baseball was created with UV maps, so we can quickly apply our custom color map to the laces. Textures with this type of purple coloring are called normal maps and use RGB values to accurately define slope and height. When using these, it is crucial to make sure the normal map box is checked. Change the type to spherical and adjust scale and bump heights. For more complex forms like this glove, we'll use box map as our projection type. Mapping textures to our models like we have done here adds another level of detail and realism to really make your renderings pop. For more information on textures and mapping types, reference the Keyshot 4 manual found under the help menu.